on here just wanted to um, append to my last video um, so we're gonna do a couple things I did a uh, water change today in addition to changing the pump to the uh, R plus 90 and um, so I did a 16 ounce change two water bottles worth of uh, water change and added some fresh water to top it off so um, here we're looking at the pH uh, value, which looks to be uh, maybe about 7.8, 8.0. I got to pay attention to that. Uh, we have ammonia sitting at 0 0.0 or 0.25. Nitrite is sitting right around 0.25. And nitrate is sitting at approximately, I would say, between 10 and 20 right now, coming down. These valves are pain in the ass. So as you can see in the background, there are a couple of new residents. Um, what I did was I took some Ocellaris clowns uh, from my 10 gallon tank and uh, threw them in here uh, they're in a 10 gallon trying to get bigger uh, these are juveniles so they have not uh, chosen a sex yet and I am attempting to get these to pair up so um, they're in here for a couple purposes to um, add to the ammonia load to see if the tank is cycled I believe it is uh, just about at the end of the cycle once the nitrite and nitrate comes down um, and, um, also I wanted to see, uh, what the current was like in the, uh, tank with the, um, upgraded pump with the, uh, 885, uh, GPH, which is the Rio Plus 90, I believe it's called. So if you watched, uh, the earlier part of the video, I did show a comparison between the four, uh, pumps, um, and, um, I made... The choice of the last one um, which is now installed so I did clean up clean up some of the diatone bloom uh, that I experienced in the last week did some sh sand shifting as you can see I've got some nasarious snails this one's getting ready to burrow You can see the snouts of um, two other ones sitting there in the background. Uh, there's one sitting up at the top of the hill there. And there's one more somewhere else in here. I'm not sure where he is. So there should be a total of five. I plan to move uh, two to three of them over to the 8-gallon uh, Project Nano Tank, uh, which is sitting over there next to my bed. Um, so I will be filming an update on that tank, uh, shortly, um, but just wanted to give an update on Project Pico. As you can see, the light is back to stock, and what I did was I took the, um, hood off of the Marine Land 10 gallon nano that I have going sitting right over there and I put the um, the Kessel Tuna Blue over there and I've got a pair of Maroon Clowns uh, there right now also trying to get them paired um, the the two juvenile uh, Ocellaris Clowns that you see here uh, were in that tank uh, but they're going to hang out in the Project Pico for a while um, just to uh, be there for a couple different purposes for pairing purposes and um, for ammonia uh, load purposes so we're gonna go ahead and uh, feed the tank see if we get some action going um, as you can see I've got sexy shrimp all over the place I did find all six of them uh, before the, the water change at least so there are 
probably four visible right now. There's two in the um, crevice of the rock. There's one on top. There's one sitting on top of the magnetic cleaner. Uh, there's one down here on the surface. And uh, I believe the sixth one is hiding somewhere. Um, so, yeah, they've all showed up. So what I did was I pointed the uh, nozzle of the tank down um, towards the middle of the tank instead of on the surface. Um, and let's see what kind of uh, agitation we get here. So it looks like both clowns are at least interested in food, which is a good sign. They were eating just fine when they were in a 10 gallon tank. So that's it. That's the update for now. And, um, Check back later for more videos. Thank you very much for watching my video.